Playgirls are. And are not divas. Naughty girl roles. Copyright Copyright 2020 Veronica Johnson. All rights reserved. ISBN 13979-8657532883. LCCN, 202-094-1432. Dedication. To my mother Regina Faye Chapman who is my angel in spirit and my father Lennox Johnson Jr., who is still living today. To the children in the world, and the people who fear suffering without destiny and lack guidance. Also, to the humble and meek people, who acknowledge living sacrifices pays off as honorable. I hope this book helps you achieve righteousness, something we all will need. May you all find love, joy, peace, and happiness throughout life. Content. CPPG. Moving forward I. 1 Introduction 1. Dilemma on the Playgirl Mentality 2. Taking Back Control 6. 2 Playgirls Behavior 25. Corny Self-Centered and Stubborn Behavior 44. Changes in Partnership Perspectives 53. 3 Pure Intentions Distorted 72. New Slave Man vs. Bond Man 77. Better Communication Skills 82. 4 Respecting a Father Figure 92. Traditional Sense of Relationships 99. Untraditional Sense of Relationships 114. Core Values 127. 5 Transforming to Glory 133. Willpower and Determination 144. Rejoicing During the End Times 158. Believing in the Victory 165. Summary for Playgirls Are and Are Not Divas 174. Prayer, Repentance, and Thanks 175. Rhymes 183. Moving forward. This book is based upon my steps with God, and past relations of the heart. My experiences impacted me to walk diligently and stand steadfast throughout spiritual warfare. The religious talk about the surface sexual concerns rather than, going deeper with womankind. While everyone has experienced a relationship that had been formed through self-centered pride. Not everyone acknowledges their spirituality, once they have been robbed of their innocence through cold-hearted and vain desires. I hope this book helps those that struggle to draw a line with their sexual affairs, to overcome sexual addiction. My prior book Players With and Without Swag formed the basis of this book. To avoid murmuring about the feelings and emotions of the playgirl mentality, I wanted to face it, to bring it to a general perspective. This can allow the playgirls to acknowledge, things they cannot gracefully explain while facing fears. A lot of gals suffer from a sexual disorder and don't acknowledge it as a trial test. Which leaves their sense of authority surrounded by emotions. Although God wanted womankind to be a helpmate, he didn't intend the cycle of their emotions being trodden down by feet of women. After that, womankind's pure intent becomes distorted with mankind's beliefs and tactics. This book was written to better understand playgirls' imperfections, and to help them realize the change that can be made from God's perspective in their lives. Also, to give the guys closure who are seeking a perfect gal. There is no perfect gal, but you can help playgirls change and overcome by changing and reshaping your life. Change requires a step-by-step -step process, and you don't need to wait. You can seek help today. My central message derived from having an effect and reason for topics of interest. This message affects people in multiple areas of life daily and reveals how it is possible to visualize things differently. Once you have found an effect and reason for writing a book, research current topics, the next goal is to review how people from the past dealt with the same issues. Afterward, acknowledge God's plan and purpose for your life. Then start with a testimony to guide you through the emotions of writing. My rhymes are at the back of this book. Those are the experiences that I have encountered with Playgirls. Enjoy your copy of this book. Chapter 1. Introduction. Ordinary people classify actresses, athletes, cheerleaders, singers, stylists, hip-hop artists, rappers, and retailers as the gals that embody the largest amount of diviness. Playgirls who are divas embrace their inner sophistication and strength with bouginess, by embodying a high-maintenance lifestyle daily. But being privileged or wealthy doesn't mean you are a diva. Playgirls are and are not divas clarifies whether any gal is a diva. It also discusses how the playgirl mentality actions and behavior affect others. Associated words are bougie, bouginess, and diva which all virtually have similar meanings only two are well used. Bougie and diva are formally associated with being materialistic. Because materialistic gals dress attire consists of see-through, skin-tight, or short dressy styles. Either way is consistent with bouginess if the gal embodies diviness. Both styles show a high-maintenance lifestyle, and it doesn't take a lot of money to rock high-fashionable clothes. It is a natural impulse that you control strategically when choosing nice clothes. If a playgirl hasn't been materialistic, or if a gal has been materialistic and has retired, either possibly embodies diviness. Even if a gal hasn't been a playgirl, she too possibly embodies diviness. This is why there are playgirls that are not divas, these are gals who don't embody self-centered feelings, ideas, or thoughts with bouginess. 
and they simply don't value the high maintenance lifestyle. Materialistic gals can also be playgirls but not gentlewomen who embraces politeness. Having said that, the overall view, an ambitious gal can be gentle or self-centered all while being a trendsetter. The goal for guys is to be able to choose wisely. The word bougie has given playgirls a personification to hide behind fueled with lies and self-centeredness. Otherwise, these are just words that describe a gal's type of clothing and lifestyle. There are more titles gals have that prove their inner sophistication and strength. But what playgirls value isn't what guys desire and need from them daily. A guy ought to know whether or not their gal is a diva. Many play the field with multiple guys, and they have become cold-hearted towards anything that has a righteous meaning. Sex addiction overrides common sense as does any addiction. Essentially a man's place is to provide for the home, but unfortunately, men are getting more responsibility added to their fathering role. Also, playgirls classify guys as slow if they can't keep their lies together when it pertains to another guy. Men are getting a bum rap when it comes to the man's place in a marriage. Not to include same-sex marriage has partly taken an alternative floor front of a happy relationship. These guys deserve more from a relationship. No guy wants a gal to classify herself as a diva and doesn't acknowledge upkeeping the home. These guys need to be able to claim their godly status with fewer gals acknowledging upkeeping the home. God made Adam a tiller of the ground of paradise, but playgirls are taking this for granted. Most guys want answers and these gals aren't giving it. This is why diva needs clarifying so the guys can move on, to find deeper peace. Just saying the words I am a diva, doesn't clarify whether a gal embodies divaness. And just because a gal says that she is a diva, it doesn't mean she is. Dilemma on the playgirl mentality. In this contemporary world, guys desire a better understanding of who to direct their righteous feelings and emotions, and kids desire to know who their mothers are to respect ancient mothers in heaven. These gals ought to acknowledge a sexual relationship involve long-suffering, obedience, and patience, to the biblical knowledge to embody the moral character. Vainness with a cold-hearted nature doesn't show respect for kid-friendly bonds of communication. With God's guidance, the followers can be led in a righteous direction. The Bible remains to be formally, socially, and traditionally available for the higher righteousness. But over time people's beliefs and opinions have distorted the accounts of the Bible, and yet it reveals womankind's greatest intent. The church age still exists in people's hearts, and it is necessary to honor it until a change has been made. While people don't need to say if you don't do this or that, you won't go to heaven. The decision is truly up to God. Initially, it was possible to have heaven on earth. But traditions came before the commandments, which was one of Jesus' concerns with the Pharisees. Beginning of temptation, Eve seduced Adam into eating the forbidden apple in Genesis 3:11. Thereafter in, Genesis 6 to 9 17, God told Noah to build an ark because all flesh had corrupted its way upon the face of the earth. When Noah built the ark, God then said repopulate the earth. After God destroyed the earth and the human race, there were only eight individuals left. Noah his wife, his two sons, their wives, and his father and grandfather were accompanied by the living animals. This is when Noah and his sons begin the sin of infidelity, they had their way with the female population. And as a result, concepts, principles, and relations got blown out of proportion. God never intended gals dominating guys with naughty girl roles. One of the commandments in Exodus 20:14 is that you shall not commit adultery, and this applies to both men and women. Paul said in Ephesians 5 colon 22 23, 31 wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. For this cause shall a guy leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. Neither of these formally says that his feelings and emotions, and her patience during conversations, are needed to build trust and earn respect with submission as a wife. Marriage requires both acknowledging respect and trust, due to Eve's seducing temptation and man's infidelity in the beginning. Nowadays acknowledgeable playgirls don't respect a guy's privacy after telling her, he does have a gal. If the guy has on a ring or says he is married they don't give him acknowledgement. Also, acknowledgeable playgirls want their guys to accept them using other guys, and if not, it can become a problem. And actually, this is where these types of relationships fail the most. Once a playgirl's main goal is to deny respect and trust in a relationship, she isn't necessarily in the relationship for long-term purposes. Of which has led to another behavior such as ego tripping. This type of behavior means the gal has an agenda, either she is addicted to sex or needy. Sure, everyone falls from grace. But if gals don't stop opening seducing events or scenes, guys wouldn't want to explore extra pleasure satisfaction. These gals tend to ego trip when there is too much violence in the world. Ego tripping and naughty girl roles are pretty much classified as elements of self-centeredness. Either of which has led to the gals dominating husbands with excessive behavior. If playgirls value getting on track with God, 
they ought to stop all habitual behavior. Some gals aren't acknowledging that guys' feelings and emotions have been an issue. The unmarried woman careth for the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both body and in spirit. But she that is married careth for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. 1 Corinthians 7 34 Gals today aren't honoring much accountability for their place in the original marriage. A guy is to love the wife as God so loved the church, gals are steadily pulling these guys into seducing temptation with naughty girl roles. If a guy disagrees, he is labeled as a dull guy. These gals ought to own what they say, control what they can and let go of what they can't, and remain true to directions, events, goals, and plans. Some gals ought to acquire further education, cook, clean house, and take care of the kids. And they ought to stop adding responsibility on the guys in their life, to stop forcing them to wear the dress in the relationship. Though most gals are treating every guy like an object to repair the relationship they didn't obtain with their father. Most guys desire a gal who will love them throughout eternity, a gal will admit her faults. The passion for a god. The world is very critical now and needs something to meditate on that isn't surrounded by lies, truths can bring about certainty. The dark ages are getting the best of womankind, most playgirls don't acknowledge a mother or wife status. Many have become trapped in the oppression syndrome and can't break free mentally. They become hesitant to seek righteous guidance enabling fewer opportunities. These playgirls don't care to respond with a loving and kind spirit or speak words of wisdom. Mainly they are taught irrational concepts from family and friends and probably aren't taught anything but bitterness, envy, and strife. Currently, the entire world needs joy, peace, and love. To bring certainty is to put aside falseness, and meet on fruitful ground, enabling a respectable perspective of wisdom for future generations. The church Jesus established need reformation to bring certainty in people's lives. Along with the kingdom of God being revitalized to enable greater and valid opportunity. Otherwise, there will continually be delinquent mothers. But you got to value change for yourself, more than anyone wants you to. We can talk and write books until we are blue in the face. Until you stand for an eternal life full of abundance, you won't receive the gift of joy, peace, and love as witnesses of Jesus Christ. You must take on challenges and face hardcore facts rather than hide in bitterness, envy, and strife. To play girls trapped in the oppression syndrome, your father or mother can't live a righteous life for you, you got to want it yourself. Do play girls go to church? Most acknowledgeable play girls do not, others to look for guys or with their husbands. There are play girls from both religious and non-religious backgrounds. Bottom line respect in relationships requires accountability, self-awareness of actions, and stewardship. It means both feeling blessed to be in the relationship while making equal decisions. It also means knowing intimate details about one another, but not to a point of using the details against the other. Both in the relationship ought to value keeping one another's secrets private no matter what goes down. Otherwise, either will betray trust and guidance. Neither is to overlook current positive outcomes, just to make a responsible decision about a plan without confirming a mutual agreement. Ultimately planning long-term goals help overcome dramatic circumstances.